Hey everyone, today I'm making a video on how to install speakers in the back door of my 2018 Toyota Tacoma Access Cab pickup truck. Now the reason for this video is um, twofold. One, there's no speakers in this back door. This is a base model truck, uh, the SR Access Cab, and it did not come with rear door speakers, although the factory head unit has a fader so you can fade from front speakers to back speakers, but when you fade all the way to the back speakers, uh, you get no sound because there's no back speakers. Um, so I tried to do a lot of research on the internet to get some clear answers and I wasn't really coming up with anything. So I thought I'd just go ahead and make this video to show exactly what it takes to, to do this. Um, so anyways, if we come inside here and I'm gonna apologize in advance, I should have taken this video earlier when I had this mostly apart um, and I didn't think about it until after I was done with the video, so, but I'll, I'll walk you through it. I do have the door panels off and what's going on, um, with the door panels is in order to get the door panels off, here's my door panel over here. You're going to have a hex screw that's in the center of this little thing. And then you've got a plastic plate here that surrounds the door handle. And there's a little access hole right in the center with a hex screw there. Once you get that hex screw, those two hex screws off, you'll pull off this uh, weather strip on the outside of the back access door. Take this whole weather strip off. It just pulls right off. And then uh, you just get a hold of the door panel and it's all attached with these plastic clips. So you just start giving the door panel a good uh, pull all around and those clips will start to pop loose and that door panel will come off. Oh, you also have to take the bolt off at the bottom where the uh, seat belt attaches. And once you remove that, you just give this whole door kind of a yank. And when the door panel is off, what you're gonna find is there's a plastic cover here with three clips that covers the hole where a speaker would be if it did have speakers. So you remove that plastic uh, cover and set that aside. You won't need that once the speakers are in. Unfortunately, what is not in here in this back door is a wiring harness for the speakers. So you basically have to wire it yourself. And, and here's the best way to do that, in my opinion. There is uh, a connector. Sorry about the bird noise up there. There's a connector behind this back plastic panel. And it's right behind this um, rubber wire loom, just on the other side where it goes through the body. There's a... Uh, two connectors actually right there. And that's where you're gonna access the speaker wire. So to do that, you're gonna start by taking off this back panel. It's easy to do. It's only clipped in there by those plastic clips. So if you get a good handle on it and just give a good yank, this whole back panel will come off. You can set that aside. Once that back panel's off, you're gonna take off this back uh, a kick plate here. It's a two-piece kick plate. You only need to remove the back one. Again, it's just plastic clips, so you give it a good yank. It's got a tab here and a tab here that connects it to these two panels. You just yank that thing off of there. Once that's off and out of the way, you pull your weather strip here back and out of the way. And you don't have to take the whole weather strip off. It's just, you're just taking the weather strip off and uh, pulling it out of the way so you can get this back panel off. Again, this back panel there's a plug down here, but you can ignore it. There's no screw there. This back panel, again, is attached with plastic clips and you just start giving it a good yank. It's attached here uh, with a tab on this top panel. You just have to pop those apart. Give this thing a good yank and this back panel will come off. Now, once that back panel's off, down here at the bottom, just on the other side of this wire loom, right in here, there's gonna be two connectors. One is white and one is yellow, and they both connect. They're both side by side by each other uh, on the back of this wire loom. You're gonna disconnect both of those, just kind of move them out of the way. The white one has five wires uh, coming into it, but only three wires going out of it and into the door. The three wires on the, uh, coming out of it, um, you know, they go for uh, the door lock actuator here on the back door and so forth. One of the wires goes up to the airbag up here, but it's the white connector that you want to pay attention to. The white connector has 
five wires going into it and only three coming out. And the five wires that are going into it, two of those wires are gonna be slightly bigger than the other three. The two wires that are slightly bigger are probably about 14 gauge wires. And you'll notice that there's not anything coming out the other side. That's where they ended the speaker wires and they didn't continue any speaker wire harness into the door. So those are the two wires you need. It's gonna be blue and green on the passenger side. And on the driver's side, it's white and black. And unfortunately, um, I couldn't find anywhere where it told me which one's positive and which one's negative. It took me a while to figure that out and a lot of research. But I believe um, that blue is positive on this side and green is negative. And on the other side, white. On the driver's side, white is positive and black is negative. Anyways, um, you can try to unpin those wires from that connector but I couldn't get them unpinned I tried really hard to push them out and I couldn't get them unpinned so I just cut them off at the very back of that white connector those two wires be very careful that you don't snip the other wires accidentally or anything um, but since they don't come out the other side you can just cut them off and then what I did was I soldered on my own wires onto those uh, two wires on each side and I used a coat hanger and, and this just um, yanks out and comes apart. In fact, you can see here that I didn't properly pull this one back into place. So I need to do that. I need to, I'll do that right now. So you can just pull this rubber wire loom. Um, you can just give it a pull and pull it out of the door and, um, and straighten it out and it makes it easier to fish the wires through there. And I just used a coat hanger to uh, to run the wires through here. You'll see on the back side of this where the connector is, you can kind of run the wires. You'll see what it looks like when you get it out. It'll make more sense. And I apologize for not having the picture, but you'll run the wires kind of down the side of one of those connectors and fish it through this rubber wire loom. Um, like I said, I used a coat hanger. So you get two wires, you solder your two wires on here, fish it through here. It's gonna come up on this back side. I ran the two wires through this other black wire loom so it was clean. You can see them right there uh, up here. And then I got my own little wire loom to continue those two wires. And then here's my wires kind of hanging down, getting ready for my speakers, which I don't have yet. And I know I'm using two wires that are the same color, um, which is not ideal. It's just that's the only automotive uh, uh, spool of wire that I had. So I made sure to mark them so I knew which one's blue and which one's green. Um, if you have different color wires, that's probably a better route to go. So anyways, that's what you got to do. You got to wire your door up in that fashion to prepare yourself for speakers. Now, I don't have my speakers yet. Uh, I ordered a set of speakers this morning from Crutchfield. So those are coming and those are going to be a six and a half inch uh, speaker that's going in there. <clears throat> now, the other thing you have to contend with is the door panel. And the problem is, is that Toyota did was um, on this car without speakers, they covered the mesh with this plastic plate right there. And if you look at the other side, that plastic plate, you can see that they have a mesh plate here for a door speaker. But since this car didn't come with speakers, they put that plastic plate on and it's got these six holes with kind of a plastic welded rivet on it. So I haven't removed this yet. I'm waiting to see what my speakers look like when they come. I suppose one option would be to use an aftermarket speaker cover on the other side, whatever comes with the speaker, or you can drill these um, rivets out and pop that plate out of the way and what you'll have is you'll have that mesh speaker cover on the other side. But unfortunately, what you will also have is you'll have six holes in that mesh speaker cover where this um, where this other cover is. And you'll have to figure out what to do with those holes. Um, you can get black plastic uh, automotive, you know, plug, retainer plugs and push it in there. I'm trying to see, I don't know if there's something on the car. You know, something sort of like, something sort of like that. One of those black plastic push-in plugs to, to fill those holes, I guess, would be one option. I'm going to wait till my speakers show up and uh, see what kind of cover they come with. But anyways, that's how you do it. 
I did test my wires and I know they work. I took an old house speaker and connected my wires to it to make sure that those wiring harnesses that I was describing were the correct wires and it is, it does work. I do get a sound out of these back speakers using my old house speaker as a testing, uh, as a testing speaker. And I was able to fade to the back and left and right so I know that it works. So now I'm just waiting for my speakers to show up and I can put it all back together. Um, I've already put the back of the car together. And again, I apologize. I should have taken this video when it was completely apart. But once you get the side paddle off and you get a view of those two connectors down there, it'll make sense to you. Just be very careful to look for the blue and green thicker wire on this side that's coming into the uh, con connector from the car side. And uh, you'll see what that looks like on this side it's the white connector not the yellow one and it's the larger of the two wires blue and green on this side white and black on the driver's side all right hopefully that helps